Hey everybody, it's Andreas from Loop Tours again. It's been a long time. I have a new hat, as you can see. And we also have new bikes. And today I want to show you how to take and ride the Christiania bike Model T, which is also called Trishaw or a taxi. So let's go. Here I got the keys. And um, our keys are color coded with tape. So you can see this is the battery key to this battery. And as in the model light, you stick in the key here on the side. And then when you turn around, you get into the locked position. And when you turn one more time, the light goes on. So the battery is now on the open position. And now I can slide the battery out. And I'll put it on the locked position. And you can see that there is this pin coming out. And that pin prevents the battery from sliding out. It sticks into this hole here. And it's also a theft protection. All right, let's put the battery back in. When you do that, make sure that it slides easily. Because if you don't, you could actually uh, put it in in a, in a wrong way. Now that the battery is on, we go to the screen. Uh, you can turn on the, the screen, which turns on the electric assist by the on button. And the blue screen lights up. And now you know that you have assist. You can press the bo uh, down button here to remove assist. And you can press the up button to add pedal assist. Besides that, you can also use the throttle to accelerate the bike. There is a, an additional feature and I'm super excited about that one, which is integrated lights. So up here, there is a light button. And when you click that, the, the lights are turned on. Maybe we can show that. Here now we have these uh, integrated lights and it's a super fancy little feature. I hope you're gonna enjoy that. All right, let's look at the gears. So to shift down, you press the big lever and to shift up the lever, which is a little hidden below. Remember that you should only shift gears while you're biking and pedaling. Don't shift gears while you're standing still. All right, let's look at the brakes. There are two brakes. The left one is the front brake and the right one is the rear brake. When you're biking, try to apply them evenly so that the brake pads are, are used also evenly. As you can see, the bike is rolling a little bit now on an uneven surface. And to prevent that, there is a parking brake. The parking brake is on the left and to apply it, you press and then you can push down the knob to lock the brake. Depending on the weather, you might want to remove the cover for the passengers. So there are three positions. This one is the covered position for when it rains. You can remove the front by pressing in the middle backwards. And you can also remove the hole. And that I'm going to show you now how that works. All right, so I pushed the cover backwards. And now I'm going to remove one of these levers. And then I'm removing the second one. And now I'm doing the same on the other side. One. Voila. Great. So what are you gonna do when, when they're out is that you stick them into these here placeholders. Voila. So this is maybe a two-man job. If you have a, a partner with you, then somebody can help you. Um, but it doesn't take that long once you know how it's being done. Now let's talk about what you have to do as a passenger when you're sitting on the bench. So the way to get in is to step into the middle of the box here. And 
then sit down. You are not supposed to step onto this part. If you do, you will lift the bike. If you don't want to think about where to step, you can also just wait until the driver is seated because then, of course, the bike wouldn't lift. There is a special feature for people that have a handicap or find it hard to lift their legs to get to the bench. And I will show you how that works now. So this footrest here can be brought down. To do so, you take a lever on each side, you pull it out and turn it a little bit around so it sticks outside. And you do the same on this side here. Out. In. And then you can just press down on your footrest and now it becomes easier to step in. Get it back up, you just do the reverse, pull it back up, twist it until it's in and you can be sure that it's safe. You have to be really sure that the, the plastic is right next to the metal. Um, if that's not the case, then you risk when you're stepping onto the footrest that it's only locked on one side, but not on the other. And this will bend the metal. That's difficult to fix.